The Mambo, a badass solo bass I released six months ago. But how can we make it even better? Introducing Cobra, an updated version of the Mamba with improved defenses, mobility, and even a secret bunker. If you want to see this base in action, check out Swifty's video where we teamed up to stress test it on a real server. See the link below. But first, a word from our sponsor. Rusty Rocket is a Rust gambling site where you can deposit your own skins, crypto, cards, or PayPal to win. You even get a 35% deposit bonus when you use a gift card. When you win, you can choose from a huge selection of skins available from their shop to withdraw. They even have a new game called Upgrader, along with the classics like Plinko, Towers, Mines, and Blackjack. Visit Rusty Rocket today and use my affiliate code CROWBUILDING to get 350 cents when you log in. As always, 18 plus only. Please gamble responsibly. Now for the tour. First I'll show you the disconnectable externals. There is one on either side of the base with the same low upkeep. I'll show you the disconnecting mechanism during the build. The gatehouses are vastly improved, with extra peaks looking back outside and into the compound. And space for a turret above to protect your large furnaces. Running around the compound, you can see that there's four turrets that guard every angle, with plenty of space for all your necessary deployables, and an identical gatehouse on the other side. Enter the base by running up the ramp through the single door. In here, we have some quick loot storage and furnaces, guarded by two shotgun traps if anyone tries to go deep. Leading into the base, there's a jump up on the third floor to the right. In the center, we have a nice big loot room with beds and a locker in the wall. Over here is where we place the roof that opens the bunkers, with even more storage and other deployables. The metal bunker leads down to the core, and the HQM one leads up to the hidden bunker. Place the twig roof in this spot to open both bunkers simultaneously. First, I'll drop down here to show you the starter core, where you'll find the main TC, five large boxes, furnaces, and bags. Jumping up to the next floor, we have the extra bunker, where you can store some of your most precious loot and the battery. Me and Swifty got offline during our wipe, and they completely missed this loot room. To reseal, remove the roof and replace the triangles. Running back over to the entrance, jump up the furnaces to access the third floor. Up here, we have a couple of beds with a locker and a windowed loop room. Another improvement on this design is that now you have two exits to the shooting floor, instead of just the one like the original Mambo. wide gaps still offer the same excellent peaking angles as before, wrapping around the tire base for great mobility. I also ditched the horrible ladder hatch roof exit in favour of these towers, which have extra peak downs, respawns, peak ups onto the roof, and an exit integrated into one modular piece. There's one of these on both sides of the base. The roof features ramp peak downs in all four corners, with space for a wind turbine, a SAM site, and a vending machine roof bunker. Open the bunker with a triangle roof to retrieve the loot inside. If you're on console, this wall will only open with a normal roof, not a triangle roof, so put those vending machines on the other side. As you can see, the vending machines aren't accessible from the corners. For the starter, just build a regular 2x1. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to place all the deployables as you progress. I like to keep the door frames wood, so I can swap them out for garage doors later. It's very important to lock the main TC, otherwise your externals will be useless. I say this in every video, but people still seem to forget. Note that the double door frame is wood. This is so we can fit five boxes in here. If you make it stone, 
you won't be able to replace them. Instead, you'll have to upgrade it to metal. It's very important to place the first box perfectly so the others line up around it. This whole part is sped up as I'm just placing deployables. If you're having any trouble, just slow down the video. If you're having trouble replacing this box, just keep trying, you'll eventually get it. Once you have the garage door blueprint and the level 3, modify the layout like so. From this point forward, I'll be using final grade materials to build the base. As you can see, I've replaced the front doors with garage doors. Now on the other side, build a jump up with the triangle frame on the top. Now we can get the bunker down. Place a triangle in a square, and then 11 triangles to the left of the square. If you want to know more about this bunker, check the link in the description. On the last triangle, place a square, then remove all the build up. Now we'll back towards the base with square foundations. Turn to the left to make sure the triangle is placed correctly. If you see these stone markings in the left hand corner, you know you've done it right. If you're not sure, you can also upgrade it to wood and make sure this line points forward. This ensures that the triangle is attached to the twig square behind it. If it's not done right, then the bunker won't work. Once you're happy with that, Upgrade the triangle to metal and delete the build up. Now we need to repeat this step again. Build up by another 11 triangles. Putting a square on the end. Again, remove all the build up and build back towards the base of squares. Before placing the last twig square, look down at the square below you. This will ensure that it attaches to the one that you're standing on and not the metal triangle in front. Then place two half walls. Put a triangle ceiling on top from this angle to make sure it attaches to the half wall. Again, remove all the build up. Replace this square and upgrade it to metal. Removing it and building it again is actually a very important part of building the bunker. Here you can see these steps again from an aerial view. Now place a roof to get on top of the bunker. Remove the roof and seal the bunker. Now replace the roof and the bunker should open. If it doesn't, quickly remove all the pieces and try again. Now we can fortify the entrance. Build a triangle ceiling on one side with a frame on the other. It must be attached to these pieces. Place a door frame here and a ceiling on top. Again, making sure it's aligned correctly. Place a half wall from this angle with a triangle on top for the jump up. It's important to do it like this, otherwise you might break the bunker. The same for the wall frame. Place it from this angle only. Now seal the top bunker and check that they both open when you place the roof. Use a single door here for now in case anyone tries to go deep when you open the bunkers. Now to wrap the base in honeycomb.
Again, it's extremely important that these triangles are placed from this angle. Otherwise, you might seal the bunker forever. After you've built them, I recommend checking the bunker still works. Now to complete the back of the base and build another loop room. Place a twig triangle through the wall like so, so we can build the shelf at a half height. Now we can fortify the front of the base and give it a proper entrance. Use a twig triangle here as a temporary jump up. The locker will go behind this window. If you don't have one yet, you can place it from the inside and F1 kill to get out. After you gather some more resources, build the jump up to the next floor and expand the entrance like so. Feel free to use shop fronts or windows with embrasures if you have the blueprints. Make the roof metal so no one can soft side into the shooting floor. Place the shotgun traps before adding the triangle that goes on top. Now we can build the third floor, put balls all around with double door frames on both sides. When building the windowed loop room, make sure to lock all the boxes before you seal them in and get your teammate to enter the codes. Now seal yourself into the secret bunker. You can make it all HQM if you like, but that's up to you. This is the layout that I recommend for the bunker. Feel free to modify it to your playstyle. Now we can finally replace this double door with a garage door. Now we're going to build the gatehouses and the external TCs. Build out like so, then remove the twig. 
These three triangles will form the gatehouse. Now build a pattern of four triangles, a square, and then the housing for the external TC. It's extremely important that you place two half walls here for the disconnecting mechanism to work. Now connect the gatehouse to the external TC with a series of frames like so. If your main TC gets raided and you need to replace it, you'll need to disconnect both externals using this mechanism. To reconnect, just replace the frames. Now we can complete the gatehouse with windows and doors all around. Build a layer of half walls on the front to house the turret. You'll need to follow this step again on the other side of the base. If you're at all confused, just follow this animation. Before sealing in the compound, first place a triangle here and on the other side of the base. You'll need 12 external walls for this. Make sure the walls are angled in slightly so there aren't any gaps. I recommend using wood walls instead of stone walls as it doesn't really affect the raid cost and they're much easier to get at this early point in the game. You haven't finished the base yet, so don't waste your resources. Lastly, place the barricades on top of the gatehouses. Temporarily support them with twig floors. Next, build honeycomb here and on the other side. Put half walls on top all around. Don't place your large furnaces yet, as we need to build the wide gap first. Next build the wide gap towers, leaving the first three triangles twig. And build up by two frames. Remove the twig foundations and replace them with twig ceilings so the wide gap doesn't decay in the meantime. Now expand the wide gap foundations around the sides of the base. Leave the twig in place so that it doesn't decay. Now repeat this again on the other side. Place these triangles for the wide gap and build low walls on top of the honeycomb. The half walls and the low walls make it slightly more difficult to splash the walls behind while still being able to fit the square wide gap on top. Now do the same on the other side. Now build the rest of the wide gap floors, making sure you keep the squares twig for now. Next build half walls all around the towers. Now you can place windows all around. 
complete the towers for the floors, windows, roofs, ceilings and doors. In case of an online, you should keep the single door open. When you're offline, close it to prevent anyone from soft sliding into your shooting floor. Now with the window frames are connected together, you can remove the twig squares and replace them with metal ones attached to the base. When placing this square, make sure the bunker is open to prevent it from sealing forever. After placing it, I highly recommend testing the bunker to make sure it still works. Now you can seal in the roof with all the pieces attached to the base. Now the window frames are connecting all the wide gaps together, we can finally remove these twig foundations and permanently connect the wide gap to the gatehouse with stone and metal foundations. Lastly, the roof of the base. Place a twig floor here to make it easier to place the roof pieces. Now build the ramp peak downs. For the vending machine bunker, upgrade this floor to metal, then place an armoured wall. Make sure the vending machines are angled like so, so they can't be looted. Now build the wind turbine three floors up. This will be enough to power the six turrets and one sand site. After placing the turbine, you can remove the twig. Lastly, put the sand site on this side. If you think you need more turrets, SAM sites and power, then it's up to you to redesign the roof. Well done, you completed the base. Again, check out Swifty's video if you want to see it in action, and to laugh at how bad I am at the game. Click the links for my Discord and Twitch for updates on new designs. Cheers.